Happy Halloween, everybody. Welcome to a very special edition of the 4 o'clock games, Fright Night. Well, this is the second time I'm going to do is playing a lot of great Halloween-themed games. So, um, hope you all enjoy, and uh, we're going to start this thing this year with another game that I am going to play. Last year, I featured, uh, I covered the... Um, my playthrough of Castlevania II Simon's Quest, the better one of the better games on the NES, which is based on a more Halloween themed. So we're gonna do look. We're right now. We're gonna change the pace for another game that I'm going to play. Well, if you those of you who have not heard of, um, I have chose to pick out the worst game I've ever played in my entire life. So today, just for today, and this year, I'm gonna present to you. A game that is probably the worst video game ever made. Well, this is not quite close to... Yeah, we've been, we've been talking about E.T. already because E.T. is even is actually the worst game for the Atari. I featured it here on the 4 o'clock game a year ago, but it's already been grounded. So, I'm going to talk about a game that I am going to present today is none other than... Stay with me, folks. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Yep. I know a lot of people who have been played this game in the past, or I haven't seen, if you, those of you may, a lot of people reviewed this game or anything like this. Well, I'm going to give you a little example. This game was released in 1988 for the NES, made by a company called Bandai, or what they now call Namco Bandai, and Toho, you know, Toho, the same company that made the Godzilla franchise. This is by far the worst NES game ever made based on the story of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I don't believe this game is. I have not played this game before. A lot of you people have actually played it or even hated this game at first, but this is the worst one. Yeah, I remember back when uh, when he does the AVG when the AVGN did it his in his second episode in one of his early ones known as the Angry Nintendo Nerd in one of his early episodes as it, when it became the AVGN or Angry Video Game Nerd, he reviewed. He did a short little review, and then they re, and then they revisited again with Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde. This is the worst game I've ever played in this in this actually the worst Halloween themed game. Yeah, this game is going to be grounded after I after I have to give you a little bit of a playthrough. So I'm gonna before I'm gonna do it says it says here battle demons with Hyde's psycho wave. It's the Dual World Challenge, Jekyll's London, and Hyde's World of Demons. I don't know why. It's a two-level game. This is like worse as Athena. I think Athena really is so, so bad. I really hate the game that much. That's like the World of Ice thing in Athena. And before we do, let's look at the back of the game and see what it does. A classic tale of horror comes to vivid life in this fast-moving video game. Dr. Jekyll succeeds in separating a man's personality into world of into good and evil. But he experiments on himself. Now, without warning, the kind of Dr. Jekyll transforms into the monstrous Mr. Hyde. Follow Dr. Jekyll as he fights off enemies in a hazardous 19th century London, only to be suddenly plunged into Mr. Hyde's world of demons. Here, Mr. Hyde must battle, attack monsters and ghouls, with this secret weapon, the deadly psycho wave. But the excitement doesn't end there. As you do battle in each of the two worlds of this game, the worlds themselves are struggling with each other for control, which will triumph the good or evil, Dr. Jekyll or Mr. Hyde. Yeah, this is absolutely horrible. I think a lot of people have reviewed this game I really don't know why I understand it. Actually, I've, I've played this game a little bit, and I get, cannot get past, and that's boring. I don't know what is going on with this game, because this is a very appropriate game for Halloween. So, I just want to say this, folks. This is the worst game I have played in my life. So, if you have not seen Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, uh, the NES game, I want to go, I'm going to present to you my playthrough of the game. By the way, thanks go out to the YouTuber by the name of, um, uh, I think the name I have to thank, 
Uh, yeah, they did a, an excellent playthrough run of of the um, the entire game called Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde. I want to thank. I have to give credit to the people who made who played this game, who gives it a little bit of a, a run of the game. So I'm just going to give this a little bit of a playthrough with a good ending. So I just want to say this, folks. I apologize for what we're saying. That this game is so bad, it's it's terrible. Yeah, I have no idea if I can start playing this game and whatever it is. So, anyways, let's begin this game right away and see what it does. So, in honor of Halloween, it's time to present this the entire game. So, let's get on with the show, shall we? Okay, we're going to do um, do us a favor here. So, we're, we're just going to expand this thing. So, we're going to do is switch it over here and we're going to play it right now i hope you'll enjoy it yep toho cinephile library with advanced communication company a strange case of dr jekyll it's dr jekyll and mr hyde that's right we're going to start the game and yeah this game gives you continues i don't know what is going on with the game here because Prepare for torture here. Now, and then you start off the game with the little cutscene. It's where he walks off. He and then this is where the game starts. And yeah, the controls look absolutely bad for this game because for a 1988 game, this is worse. I think yeah, you have to walk around the townspeople and look out for the purple ones. Yeah, but that was by bombs. You have to be very careful if you if you if you stay too close with the bomb blast, you lose all your um, half of your life, and you'll turn into Mr. Hyde, and then you end the game with. Yeah, look at this. The music looks stupid. I think this is the worst. It's boring as hell. I do not know why the game is supposed to be Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It does not follow. It did, yeah, the game was never been based on this. It was it originally was based off of Robert Louis Stevenson's story. But this is kind of a stupid thing. I really think this is a Halloween themed game. I really know. And you have to be very careful. Watch out for those little dogs. Yeah, it goes back and forth. You know, all these pets. You've got to be very careful if you walk, if you get past, you, you take some a little bit of a damage here. Yeah, there is a life meter. You have to lose your half of your health. There is a health meter on the top. And at the bottom, there's a meter where you can turn Dr. Jekyll into Mr. Hyde. And then it, it will restore it back to uh, Dr. Jekyll again after you, if you go into the Mr. Hyde level. This is like annoying cats. You know what's worse than this? This is worse than other games like E.T. You know what? This is this is right up there with E.T. for the Atari 2600. I really know, know what is going on with the game. It is just terrible. I get I cannot get this. Yeah, you know, the, yeah, the staff. You 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 can't. Yeah, the button you 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 you, you have to. Shoot with the staff. You know, you have a staff. You have to shoot them. You can't shoot them because the staff doesn't do nothing in the game. If you hit the button, the staff doesn't do. And yeah, this is the level. This is the part where you're in the game. And yes, this bird is made of poop. Yeah, you you got to be very careful. The bird falls into your. Yeah. Yep, the bird is made of poop. Fell off the sky, and what happened is, it will take some of the damage from there. You better be very careful. Yep, you gotta be very careful if you if you you gotta watch out for that little poop, that bird laid poops falling. Yeah, that's right. It's just dog poop. That's right. It's dog poop. That's what you had to do is just dodging all the poops, and you had to dig. That's a uh, that is terrible. Look at this. This this control. Gives you nothing. I, I do not know how you can do this. There is no gameplay at all. I might as well give this thing a grounded thing. Because after you play this putrid game. 
Well, this game is worse. I cannot believe this. I cannot stand this. Oh, hold on a second. I, I got to get a little try here. Hold on. I'll be right back. Sorry, folks. I uh, apologize for only well, about two minutes here, so I got to do is continue on with the game. Okay, uh, let's continue on. Okay, here we go. The um, we'll just resume the game. Okay, what we're gonna do is a. It's pretty. Yeah, just walk around and then you hit the cat. Now you lose your meter and you'll turn into Mr. Hyde. That's right. You have to turn into your Mr. Hyde. You and this is where the other world starts. You have to shoot all this thing. Yeah. Look at this. This is what happens when you shoot this thing. You gotta. Yeah, you gotta do. This is a level. This is the part where you can get to, to shoot there. You have to collect all the coins or stuff like this. You have to turn back to Doctor Jekyll. This is a. This is kind of like a game. If it's not even great, I yeah, you have to collect your coins in order to. You have to shoot all these enemies before turning back to Doctor Jekyll. But this is like, wow, what a stupid idea. I think this is not a good thing to begin with. I guess um, you have to collect all your coins, and then I don't know why you had to refill your energy here. Uh, yeah, you gotta shoot this thing over there. You have to... Oh, yeah, now you gotta do is just to shoot this thing out of here, because... Oh, yeah, yeah, he turns into a little monster here. This is getting a lot of, uh, of boring game. This is this is definitely boring. I don't really don't get the game. It's no gameplay. There's actually, yeah, the part is where you can shoot this thing. You have to, sh and yeah, you turn into Mr. Hyde. And now, yeah, now you're wasting all your life meter here. Oh, yeah, you gotta go back and, yeah, you entered the level here. But now you change back to Dr. Jekyll again. Now you replenish your health. No, not your health, but your meter. Uh, now you you refill your energy here. So that's, that's a good change. You have to, yeah, this is... Yeah, you have to do is move back and forth. And do not... You have to jump over here, because let me tell you, you can't crisscrossing the level. Let me look. It's this is this is this is annoying. I don't know why you hear the barking and the dogs. And it looks like you you have to run a little further. Look what they did. I I I don't really care. This is not even great because the game is the the absolute worst. I really found this game pretty boring. And yeah, there's that bird with the poop again. That's uh, not a great sign. You know, it's it's true. It's not even good. That's, I don't like the way this, this game controls like this. 
And watch out for that little little burp poop. That's you know you have to waste your energy here, but that bomb can cause your energy. That's like yeah, when you're dead or whatever it is, you change back to Mr. Hyde, and then your instant death will appear. And here's a here's a here's a here's a terrible thing. You have to start with only one life. If you lose all your life, you're done. If you you, know, you have to take all your damage if you want. If you get hit by a a poop or or if you get hit by a thing, you get turned the life. You have to watch your meter down. And now you're turning to some Mr. Hyde again. This is the this is the worst thing part of the game. It's not a good thing. Yeah, now you turn into some sort of a. Oh, you have to get coins. This is the object is where you get coins. Yeah, you gotta watch out for these projectile weapons. That's uh, the only thing I can do. You have to shoot this thing out of here. But look at this. This is what happens. You have to shoot this thing until when you get changed back to Dr. Jekyll, you will refill your health again. This is not a good thing. I, I really don't know why. I hate this game very much. I wish this thing gets grounded for... And just after you finish playing... After I finish playing this game. And then after you have to... You have to shoot this thing and it turns you back to Mr. Hyde again. And yeah, you have to change it back to Mr. Hyde until you have to... You have to be very careful. All these things, it's just not even a lot of good things to say. But this is like the this terrible ending. Look, this is not a good way to do this thing. And now, he's, now he's changing back to Dr. Jekyll again. Yep, he's refilling your health again, so, um... This game could... Yeah, you have to, This is stickball. You have to do that. Oh, yeah, yeah, the bombs. You gotta be very careful of the bombs. If you, oh, now you... Yeah, this guy is shooting pistols. Or slingshots. Yeah, you had to you had to be very careful if you don't do this. If you have to do squirt down, and yeah, you gotta do this back up and far away so that you won't will not take the bomb will not take any damage from it. If you don't get too far, you you lose half of your life. And you have to jump when you get past this further here. This is like. This is torture. This game is not even good. And look, the bees. Wow, yeah, the, the, the controls you have to shoot. Yeah, the staff doesn't do anything at all. That's right, you control the... Yeah, the bees are... Bugs or something. Yeah, you, it's annoying. This is, this, yeah, and you can tell the music is not even great. Yeah, the music sounds terrible. I think there's bad music in the game. I know it's terrible, though. This is like, you can't do this, like, the in the game. Because what, you you know, I give you the, the, the big issues with the game is, yeah. The game was kind of glitchy. I don't know who, who, the people who made this game. I need Toho. And them called Bandai, and they made this game, and it looks absolutely worthless. There's the bees. You have to watch out for them. It'll take a take a meter 
at the bottom, you have to, you have to take Jekyll and the Hyde meter. Oh, now you, yeah, the singing thing. Yeah, now it's taking away your meter, and now you turn into Mr. Hyde. The third time around. All you gotta do is shoot this level here, but... You have to collect your coins. That's right. You have to collect coins in order to uh, to earn all these stuff. Yeah, this is like you have to shoot this level here because that's a pretty darn game, you know. I see, I have seen a lot of bad games in the past, you know, I, I remember Athena for the NES, I remember all these games I hated that, that much, I hate, um, I hate another game, I think Karate Kid was another terrible game, it's way too easy for the NES game for 1987, and Fast Future was so bad, Who Find Roger Rabbit was a terrible game, that's right, LJN who made it, that's very bad. And then, yeah, once again, they change back to Dr. Jekyll again. <laughs> and now you have to revisit. And yes, now the opera thing is gone. <laughs> now you can meet the townspeople again. Now you have to take a little damage here. You have to watch out for those little things, you know, the spiders. You have to do, yeah, the spiders, and yeah, there's bird flying, dropping poops. Oh, it does not take any damage at all. Okay. And this is getting a little tougher here, folks. Whoa. You have to jump to the little ladies out there. But, yeah. Look at this. This is not even... Uh, yeah, like the runaway... Uh, Yeah, I don't know why you see how many people are running away. Oh, now you have you. This is this is the stupidest idea I have I've never played in my life. Now he's jumping over the ladies. Yeah, you have to. Uh, you have to do. Yeah, watch out for those runaway ladies. You you take a little bit of damage here. The spiders. You got to be very careful if you take that thing away from this life. But this is this is pointless. This is pointless here, folks. This is pointless. The game is not even good. I think there's no, you know, uh, gameplay. Oh, now he's just changing the uh, notes. You have to be very careful. Now he dropped the coins. Oh, now you just you watch out for those little falling arrows. The falling arrows. This is like going down there. And yeah, you have to take your life meter away. But just have to wait. You have to do as um as soon as you can. You got to do take them away and put it in. So let me just pass it in. Oh yeah, it's taking a, a. Oh yeah, it's taking a pee. That's that's disturbing. I don't know. There's a water fountain in here. You have to shoot those with the staff, you know. Now, yep. Now you caught him. Now they'll turn back to Mr. Hyde. Yep, you have to shoot them. This is like really bad. I'm. I I, I don't know what is going to happen. 
Okay, like I said, you start with only one life, and then what happens if you lose all your life? And get, if you have to start with one life, and yeah, you start with the health meter. You have to watch your health meter if you if you do that. If you if you lose it, if you if you take a lot of damage of your health meter, if you run out of health, guess what happens? You're dead, and the game is over. I know there's a way to continue the game. I know if there is a continue option, if you if you want to continue the game, that's fine. I don't know what it's going to think. It's it's just terrible. <laughs> I don't know what is going on with the game here because this is absolutely worse. I don't think this is this is insulting. The game gives you a lot of no time and effort whatsoever. And I don't know, it doesn't follow the basic rules. <laughs> it's a philosophy. A, it's a waste of... It, it is It is a disgrace for an NES game. It's not... For 1988, it was a horrible game. When uh, when Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde was rushing the stores, it was not of a, like... A, ooh, I thought it was the game was good, but no. The game is so bad. And then you want to enter that. You have to go enter the other room. And then you change it back to Dr. Jekyll. And that's uh, the only thing I can do is just change it back to Dr. Jekyll again. <laughs> then you'll have to restore your health again. Watch out for those little bees. You know, if that's right, you have to do is be very careful. And yeah, you have to dodge that little poop. That bird fell on there. Oh, you have to shoot them with just the flies. Oh yeah, you gotta jump right over here. Because what happened is, you, if you if you go too close, you're dead. Yep, I know, you have to shoot the... Uh, Flies, you know, all you can do is use a staff to fly. That's like very tortured to this game. I found terrible game. I got to tell you, this is not a great game. I think Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde considered to be the worst ones. I think, like I said, it ranks right up there with E.T. I think E.T. was terrible for the Tari. Yeah, and that game's already been grounded. Well, that game's already grounded. I hope the game is just pretty stupid. This is one of the dumbest idea. And what's gonna happen after this? This game is gonna get grounded after I played this game. This is like 45 minutes of your tortured nightmare. Watch out for that little arrows if you take. If you take some damage down there, you're, you're instantly, it's not dead, yo. Whoa. Wow, you have to do, just jump a little further. Oh, now you just turn into Mr. Hyde. Now you're you're wasting your, your meter, but you turn into Mr. Hyde again. And yet that's like one of the stupidest ideas I ever played. You know, every time I do a Fright Night game, I, I always want to do a Halloween themed game because of uh, Fright Night. What happened is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. An NES classic. It's not. It's a, not a great game. I really don't know. It's not even a good game. I know. I'm really not thrilled with this game. It's just absolutely horrible. But this is absolutely terrible. The game is not even good. It's not even great. But the controls look stupid. But it's kind of crap. But look at this. Now I change back to Mr. Hyde from Doc Mr. Hyde of Dr. Jekyll back to Dr. Jekyll where it is.
There you go. That's um, the only thing I can do. Boom. Wow. I don't know. I really want to tell you, say, this is like, this is not a good game. I really don't know if anybody would want, I know back, remember back in one of the earlier episodes if AVGN did review this game? I don't know why. If you could tell me why the game is so bad. It's so bad. Nobody could tell me this game is not even good. I really don't know. Why the end of the story, as you can tell, the controls are terrible. They can, the music looks absolutely good, terrible, but it is a, not a good game. It's not a, it's not even a good game, after all. The good, I always want to play good Castle, good Halloween themed games like Castlevania, and other games, but that is just like that. I would avoid playing Doctor Jekyll. So we'll talk about this at the end. Now there's that runaway uh, woman, those rainy day women. Remember that Bob Dylan song? Yeah, remember that? Remember the old uh, Bob Dylan song? I know I've heard that song. It's like you jumped around, you jumped all those rainy day women out of there. It's just a runaway woman, and you have to do is run away from that stupid townspeople. The townspeople gets run away. I don't know what's going on here because... Oh, now he's, yeah, he's going to run away. And yeah, those exploding things, and that is just... Uh, you had to get dodged right through it. We're getting close here, folks. We're halfway point into the game. And here it is. That's like right. we're we're just here here in the halfway point in the game. It's so bad. I think this is the worst game I've ever heard of. The game is not a good. It's not a game. It's not even that close. This is a horrible game. I freaking hated the game. I really know I cannot stand this game in in this point because this point is. They were, we're in a midway point because what happened is the game is uh, absolutely atrocious. I don't really know if this game is absolutely terrible. But this is not even good. I don't know why you had to get dodged. Yo, this is the problem with the game. I I, I would have to disagree Bandai for this. Or ben, Nemco Bandai for this hor horrible game. Why do I actually know this game is not doesn't even follow the basics rules of the game? You know, it, it's not even it, there is no strategy. There is no thing. Yeah, there, there is no gameplay at all. I don't don't understand. If you could tell me, the game is absolutely horrible. Yeah, you jumped a dog. Look at this. He's running back and forth, back and forth, and that's those idiotic dogs. And now he's now he caught the dog, and now he's turned back to Mr. Hyde. Now they're doing the same thing. They get to do shooting Mr. Hyde. Oh yeah! Now you take a couple of health damage. You have to take. Yeah, these could take damage. You'll take lesser damage. You'll it'll have more plenty of damage here because, well, let me tell you, this is stupid. I don't know what the game is going to be like. It, yeah, it was a, it was kind of decent. But I, I don't, I don't know what Doctor Jekyll, Mister Hyde NES game is going to be. I really don't know why the game isn't even good. Where is the fun factor in the game? I really don't know what is. This is the music in the game. It's absolutely terrible. And now you're taking the health bar away. This is, this is dumb. I know this is the dumbest game I've ever heard of. It's not a good game. And now it's just now it turns back to Dr. Jekyll again. 
Whatever happened to the game? And look at this. It's a. It's so terrible. Now he's just going back to to that thing again. You have to watch out when you dodge this thing. Look what happened. Oh, now you're now you're dodging around. Let me get let me give you something. This is terrible. I I only this drives me insane. But this is a horrible game. You can tell that's a Yo, know, you walk in the cast too many dogs. All of these respawn dogs. I don't know why he walks around like crazy. He's trying to take a couple of the meter out of the way. I really don't like the way this game is supposed to be. This is a horrible game. Whatever happened to this one? But what did they do this? Better don't waste your time. You gotta watch out for those burp poops. Watch out for the killer bees. Yeah, Marty versus the bees from Back to the Future Part 4. And now he's just changing back to Do Mr. Hyde. Yeah, now you're changing back to Mr. Hyde again. You guys, you cannot make any difference here. I really don't know what is going on with the game. I really don't know. I don't know why I don't understand the game is, 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 is even torture. This game is a torturous mis disgrace. You have to shoot this enemy, and yeah, you're, if you're if you're Mr. Hyde, you have to shoot these enemies here. But look, it's absolutely horrible. I don't know the uh, I don't know the developers or publisher made this game. I really don't. It would send to the freaking wall. But this is even terrible. Look at this. Look at this. Now you're just low on health. Now you're back to Do Mr. Hyde. I mean, Dr. Jekyll again. Okay, now you're just back on the health bar again. But this is a... This is a freaking nightmare. You want to take some of his damage? You 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 can. Oh yeah, now you just take damage from bird's poop or bird's doo doo, whatever you call it. You have to watch out. You have to yeah, because bird is dropping doo doo on its head to take some damage from Mr. from Hyde's meter. This is a, this is dumb. You gotta watch out for that dog. Do, it mean bird doo doo. Yeah, the doo doo. Okay, you just have to turn to Mr. Hyde. Well, how many times do you hear Mr. Hyde? Oh, now you have to do is fight around like crazy here. Now you had to shoot this thing, and yeah, because what happened was you have to take a couple of these damage here. Because what happened was this is horrible. This is sad. I I really don't know why this game is kind of sad. This is a terrible game. I really don't know like the way if you're into Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde. I know. If, oh, now you're shooting these little snake things. This is this is not great. You know, it's not a good game. It's a terrible game. I I would would accept this game. Yeah, this game is you know, it needs to be grounded soon. And now you're taking life two life damage away from this one, but 
Now you're now you're changing back to Dr. Jekyll again. Oh my gosh. I don't know why did they do this? This 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 bird doo doo. Yeah, those yeah to get rid of that doo doo thing. Oh my crazy man. Oh now you just uh, turn back to Mr. Hyde. Enough with this. <laughs> I had enough with this game. I really don't know that don't matter. How do you want to make the game look like it's absolutely bad? <laughs> I don't know. What is this? Is this is stupid? The game is so stupid. Look at they 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 just messed up the play mechanics. Look at that. I I get I get it with this. It's a horrible game. It's a mess. I don't know why you think it's another terrible wasted another game. I really don't know what is think. This is just a bad joke. Yeah, I think Dr. Jekyll and Mr. High is a joke. I mean, this is the this is one. If you have already saw the movie, I really don't know if you want to watch the older 1930s films. This is this is the worst game I've ever heard of playing Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. But this is in terrible this is terrible. I really don't know what is the game is going to be more like this. The controls stink. The controls are just delayed. I don't know why. It is frust it is a frustrating game. I don't know what is going on here. I get a lot of these are something wrong here. Oh, you're just hitting projectile weapon. Oh, this this projectile. And yeah, you're just shooting all these little things. But look at this. Now he's changing back to Dr. Jekyll again. But this is a bad joke. This is a bad sign. What is the matter with this game? Now you gotta turn into a meter here. And now for the little townspeople here, this is the town scene. Now you should do all the barrels. Yep, you have to jump over the barrel. All this stuff is you have to jump over the barrel by pressing these buttons here. And oh yeah, now you have to do change stupid things. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is a uh, this is horrible, folks. This is, yeah, prepare for the worst part. The worst is yet to come. Yeah, this is the worst is yet to come. Just throwing barrels out of it on the ground. And now he's turning it into Mr. Hyde. Now he's changing. Now he's turning to Mr. Hyde again. But look at this. This is so bad. And you know, this prepare for the worst, folks. Prepare for the worst. This is a this is terrible. Look how bad look this thing looks. I really don't know why you understand that this is this is not a great this is not even a game. You got to just just shoot this thing and it, it even it this has got to be the one of the worst things I've ever wa played. I really don't know understand the game is just torture. Now you have to shoot all these flaming monsters. This is like you have to shoot all these enemies here.
Now you have to do is jump over these holes, you know, you're fall you know, I don't you have to be very careful. This is so bad. I get I get and tell You're telling me that this game is so terrible. You gotta do is jump on the platform. But this is this is some sort of a platformer game. You got to jump to your doom. This is like a bad joke. I really don't know why you can understand this. The game is so bad. I know, I hope this game should be grounded. Once after this game is done. I really don't have enough time to, to discussing, to rambling about the, uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It is one of the worst games of, of on the NES. Well, you cannot get this thing out of this way. Look at this. Look what happened. They just... They look terrible. Look how bad this thing looks. This is what how you can do is jump on the rooftops. All you can do is jump to the rooftops and all this thing you got to do is jump over there. Look at the horrible game. Look how horrible this is. This is how to tell you that the, this game is so horrible. And now you're into the final scene. That's right. You have to fight the boss. You have to fight the boss and all the stuff you gotta do is just fight. This is the only boss in the game. I really don't know why you can do is just fight anything. It's like the mask thing. The little face guy is turning invisibility. But this is so horrible. I don't know how you can do is find this game and you can tell this is the ending. I really don't know. I cannot tell the ending is so bad. I really don't know. But now, all you gotta do is just shoot this thing and go with it. There you go. You've done, you finished, completed the game, and now this is what you're going to see for the ending in just the, in just shortly as we, will, as we will talk about this little thing going on. Now he's changing back to Dr. Jekyll again. And prepare yourself for the ending here. Yeah. The ending is going to suck very much. There are no enemies. This is so bad. I, I always want to say this. There's no townspeople left. All you gotta do is walk around. I know there was no townspeople. There was no guy giving bombs. No dog no dogs, no cats, and no bird doo-doo falling off like a little Lulu. I don't really call this game Little Lulu. You remember Little Lulu? Yeah, it's a cartoon character. If you remember that from the old uh, cartoons or comics. Yeah, you can tell it's Little Lulu or Little Lulu or Little Doo Doo or Little Lulu. Okay, I, I'm not going to explain Little Lulu. Okay, I don't think we can call the game Little Lulu or something. <laughs> Called something else. I found this is just a terrible thing. You had to go walk through them, and where's no guy? There is no people in this game. You finally beat the entire game, but there is no stupid guy. And now, now we're halfway there, and now it's finally made it. We're halfway through the game, and now we're gonna just just walk around like crazy.
Now you're just going to do is jump around further, furthermore, and what you're going to see is what you get. Looks like it's going to take forever. And ever. What is with this game? What is going on? It's going to take... It's, we're three minutes in there? My gosh. This is... And now we're just... We're ha almost there. Oh my gosh. Now we've made it. We made it. We've made it this far. And now we're just going to go into a church. We're almost into the church. And now... There it is. We finally did it. We finally did it. And now for the ending. Okay. Just to brace yourself. This is a wedding scene. Oh yeah, the music looks pretty nice. It's an 8-bit rendition of that little wedding thing. Like the one you, the one they played at the weddings. That's right. Dr. Jekyll is married. The, that woman... Yeah, that's the ending of the game. I can't believe this is the worst ending ever in, a, in an NES game. Congratulations, you've beaten Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde for playing the worst game ever made. Why did they have to have to play this game in no time? This is so bad. Yep. Finally beat the worst game ever existed. And now he goes into that sunbeam and now he kisses the bride and... Oh my gosh. What is with this game? This is ending. It's kind of stupid. Now he, now they've, and it chops the black and it says end right there. But, yeah, that was it. That was Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde for the NES. One of the worst games ever made. The control stink. And, oh, whoa, whoa. Whoa. What is this? Now they put end in reverse. It says, Ding. Oh, and of course, Mr. Hyde with the cross in the shadow. That is just creepy. That ending was creepy after that. What is the hell happened here? Yeah, I know. The ending kind of creeps me out. It's just like having a nightmare. I was dreaming after this and when they just did this was thunder. I mean, whoa, that was a jump scare. Okay, I had enough with this game. I know the game is absolutely horrendous. Let me take me back to this thing here. I mean, this game is so bad. I hate this game. It is one of the worst NES games ever made. I would never ever play this game ever again. I mean, Bandai, way to go for for making this the worst game ever. Anything for a Halloween themed video game. This is the this is the worst game ever because of this. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde is probably the worst on the NES. You know, the one problem is the control sucked, the music looks terrible, and the gameplay looks stupid. I want to tell you one thing about this. This game is trashed. As you probably notice, we're going to go into Go Anime and ground Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. You know what? We're going to go to Go Animate right now and ground this game. So we'll come back right after that. I'm going to give you my final thoughts. I can't believe I am in jail for 5,867,492 years because I got exploded by a bomb by changing from Dr. Jekyll to Mr. Hyde and being dead. And my game sucks. I know we'll escape by knocking down cell door. Aha, uh -huh, now I am going to escape from jail and go to the movies to see the original Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, from 1931 with Fred at March. Welcome to Lowe's King's Theatre in Brooklyn. Where do you want to go see? 
I want to go see the original Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde from 1931 with Frederick March, Marion Harkins and Rose Hobart. Here's your ticket. It will cost you 50 cents. Thank you. Enjoy the show. Ah, uh, now I am going to watch the original 1931 version of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. The movie is ready to start. It will begin shortly. That was a very good movie. Now I am going to Ultra Games headquarters and make Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for the NES. Now I am going to make an NES game about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What? Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and NES what are you doing in here? I am trying to make an NES game about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles by Ultra Games. Oh my god I can't believe that you were going to make an NES game about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles by Ultra Games. That's it. Now I am telling Elsa about this. Oh crud I better scram. I can't believe Aaron saw me and now he is gonna tell Elsa so I am gonna hide here. I think I will go to McDonald's because I am super hungry. Here I am at McDonald's on 5th Avenue at the corner of 52nd Street in Sunset Park, Brooklyn. Now I am going to eat some McDonald's food when I get inside. I love McDonald's food. Welcome to the 5th Avenue McDonald's in Sunset Park, Brooklyn. How can I help you? I'd like a Big Mac McDLT a quarter pounder with some cheese filet fish a hamburger a cheeseburger a Happy Meal McNuggets tasty golden french fries regular or larger size. And salad chef or garden art and chicken salad oriental big big breakfast egg McMuffin hot hot cakes and sausage maybe biscuits bacon egg and cheeses sausage Spanish hash browns too. And for dessert hot apple pies and sundaes three varieties a soft server cone three kinds of shakes and chocolate. Chocolate via chip cookies and to drink a Coca-Cola Diet Coke and orange drink. A Sprite and coffee decaf to fat milk also an orange juice I love McDonald's good time great taste and I get this all at one place. I'm afraid that I cannot give you that much Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde NES because you will get fat in my bustle firing. Maybe this million dollar bill will change your mind. Okay go sit at the table Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde NES. Your order will be here shortly. You are not going to believe what Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and ES has been doing. What have they been doing? Well first I heard that they got arrested for exploding a bomb and turns Dr. Jekyll into Mr. Hyde and ends up dying where the game was very bad with bad graphics bad music and bad controls. Then I saw them at the Ultra Games headquarters trying to make an NES game based off of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and it sucks. I can't believe Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde NES is doing it now I'm going to go find that lousy game and ground them for aliens of years. Those foods were amazing. Oh no, now I am super duper fat. If Elsa seen me like this then I will be super grounded. I am going to have to stay away from Elsa, Snow White and Cinderella because if they see me like this, then they will tell Elsa. I know I will go to Prospect Park because there are items that can make me normal again. Here I am now I am going to drink them to make me normal again. First I will drink something that has the words drink main. I drink drink main so I wonder what will happen. Oh my god it shunk me I hope eat me will return me to normal. Oh no. Not only did eat me may be taller but it made five times as fast as I was before. Yay. The mushroom made me normal again. Oh, I forgot. This is Prospect Park. 
Hey Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and E.S., what are you doing in the park and where are those items? I drank them and ate them all to thin mine out because I was fat. Oh my god I can't believe you drank drink me and eat me and my mushroom from Wonderland. Now I'm telling Snow White about this and she will not be happy with this. Oh no I need to run away again. I know what I will do. I will hang out in Clara Park because Elsa isn't home because she is looking for me. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde yes, I can't believe you made a terrible game with terrible controls, bad gameplay, bad graphics and bad music. And you first got arrested from turning Dr. Jekyll into Mr. Hyde and then escaped from jail. And then you went to Les King's Cathedral on Flatbush Avenue to see the original Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde from 1931. But after that you went to the Ultra Games headquarters and you're going to make a game about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Aaron told you that. And then you went to McDonald's on 5th Avenue in Sunset Park where you sang the order from the McDonald's menu song when it was back in 1988 and got that. Then go to Prospect Park and got the items that you got back to normal where you stole from Alice in Wonderland. You are so super grounded 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 grounded. Grounded 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 grounded. You are grounded for Decades. I really hate her. You are the meanest dumber ever. You are fat and stupid. Uh... Oh. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, yes, I can't believe you are holding me and now I'm calling Aaron, Brian, Alice and everyone to come talk to you. Hello, you are assaulting Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde yes, got in big trouble, so I will bring everybody to come over. Oh my god, you can't believe that this is happening me and all my friends will be over in Carroll Park in 20 minutes or less. Hello, this is me Alice and you are a bad game. You are a very bad game at making this horrible game about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles while you are grounded. I am Eloise and I came from the Plaza Hotel and I can't stand you insulting the games. I am Eric and I hate you for making a very bad game for the NES with lots of terrible controls and it had no gameplay at all and the music sucks and it makes no sense at all. I am Aaron and you are a very bad game for putting bad graphics and bad music to the game. I saw your game in the second episode of the Angry Video Game Nerd and it was garbage. I am Brian, and I can't stand you insulting my game. I am Alan and I can't stand that you had a game as James Rolfe when he first made on what was then the Angry Nintendo Nerd and later became the Angry Video Game Nerd. James says in the second episode that this game is fucking horrible. I am Snow White and you stole Alice as stuff from Wonderland while you're in Prospect Park and Alice really really hates you. And I am Cinderella and you made this game so 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 bad. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde is the worst NES game which is right up there with E.T. for the Atari 2600. First punishment I will give you girls voice. No 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 no. No Dick Tracy, no Dig Dug 2, no Rocketeer, no Muscle, no World Class Jack Meat and furthermore. Now we will shrink you down to baby size like I did in Wonderland. I'll give you my drink me bottle. 
The only educational games you will be making from now on are Barney's Hide and Seek Sesame Streets ABC and 123 The Fisher Price Games The Little Mermaid and more. We will also turn off your game. You will also be doing lots of chores and community services. We will also not to go back to Lois Kings to see the original Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde ever again. Now someone is coming over to kidnap you again. I'm Anne. I am here to take this game and take it away again. Bye! Alright. That takes care of him. Thanks, Anne, for for kidnapping a NES game, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Yep, it's really grounded. Yep. That would be it for them because what happened is this game is so bad, I think. Here's one thing about this. The ending kind of sucks where, you know, if you have seen it earlier, about a couple, about a few minutes ago, I think, where um, the ending is just terrible, where Dr. Jekyll got married and with a, with a, um, with a woman and they all live happily ever after. This is like they did at the end of like Snow White or Cinderella. If you could take the last sentence at the end of the story, it says and they live happily ever after. You should go watch any of the Disney movies when you, it, every Disney film ends with and they all live happily ever after. Yeah, go just check and see what it is. So, I just got to do, do back to Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde for a bit. Just to wrap things up here for a moment. I have one advice to use, so... This is, I advise you, I got one more thing to say about this, this game. If you have seen it, just don't even bother playing Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde for the NES. Because this game is so terrible. Yep, the controls sucked. The music sucked. The gameplay looks so bad. And I guess that this is probably by far the worst NES game ever created. And just, I just want to say one thing. Like I said, do not play this game. It's so bad. I know that there was actually two different endings in the game. If there was a bad ending, if you want to see a video of the ending, of a different ending, I don't know. If there was a, a different ending existed. Just go check it out. And otherwise, just do not play it. Avoid this game at all costs. Well, that wraps up. Now I'm not going to play another Halloween-themed game on the NES again because it's so bad. I'm not going to play another Dr. Jekyll against Sir Hyde game again because it's because the game is so bad. So I'm going to find other things to do for next year, for next Halloween, because what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to play something really good. So otherwise, I hope I have to find another Halloween-themed game to play for next year. So that's it. And that ends the 4 o'clock game's Fright Night for this uh, for this time. So I hope you all enjoy it, and I hope you have a, a happy and safe Halloween. Whatever your kids out there, just go trick or... If your kids are trick-or-treating, just... Um, I just want to say, just have a... Just give some candy, and then, of course, I hope you have a great, happy Halloween. And I hope you'll see you again next year for a 4 o'clock game. As we present our 4 o'clock game's Fright Night. So, this is Chris, and I will see you then next year. And we'll come back and we'll do another uh, regular 4 o'clock game, as we know, for next time around. So, we're going to do it again. Next time, we, as we meet again, we'll do it on the 4 o'clock game. And we're going to tell you, all I can say is, Happy Halloween! <laughs>